welcome everyone i am going to be starting off with making my own alfredo sauce you can purchase your own but i am choosing to make mine and i'm going to start off with half a pint of heavy whipping cream then i'll go ahead and add half a cup of shredded parmesan cheese then i'll go ahead and add four ounces of cream cheese and then add two hefty tablespoons of butter. The brand of butter I used is called Kerrygold and it doesn't have that fake butter taste. It's really good and I highly recommend it. The first seasoning I start off with is 21 Seasoning Salute. I purchased this one from Trader Joe's, but if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you can substitute it with Italian seasoning. It's very similar. Then I went ahead and added Nor garlic cubes these garlic cubes are really good and they add a really nice zest I then added a tablespoon of minced garlic and of course I cannot forget my pepper and my salt Once all seasonings are added, I mixed all ingredients on high heat for 10 minutes, then lowered the heat, and on low heat, I let sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Then I removed from the stove. For the pasta, I started with a large pot and filled it halfway with water. I added olive oil, a dash of salt and Italian seasoning. This is to prevent the pasta from sticking to the bottom. While the water is coming to a boil, I cooked some bacon. Then I cut the bacon into small pieces. And with the same pan I used to cook the bacon, I placed about five to six pieces of chicken breasts and they were lightly seasoned with salt and pepper. Once the water was boiling, I added pasta. I made a whole lot. You can choose how much you want to add. After five minutes of the pasta cooking, I added half a bag of peas. Before the pasta thoroughly cooked, I removed half a cup of the water to use for later. Once the pasta cooked, I removed, and look how beautiful it looks. The last added meat is prosciutto. Like I chopped it as finely as I could and I would highly recommend to taste test your prosciutto before buying. Um, this one that I purchased, I really like, but every prosciutto is different in the way it tastes. I then chopped the chicken while I was at it. <laughs> With the prosciutto, I slightly cooked it. I let it sit on medium heat for no more than three to five minutes. Now it's time to combine all the ingredients. I added the pasta back into the pot that I had originally cooked it from. I added the water that I had taken from it. Then I added the Alfredo sauce, all the meats, and gave it a nice big stir. I allowed all the ingredients to sit for about five to 10 minutes before serving. And look how beautiful it looks. Oh my goodness. Of course, a pasta dish can't be enjoyed without a nice glass of wine. I'm pretty proud of this dish. <laughs> like the Italians say, Arrivederci. 